Hey Vinyl Community, I wanted to jump on a thread today that was started by Ron Haggerty, which I will get into in a moment. But before I do, I wanted to uh, try and get some attention to a couple of channels who are just kind of starting out in the VC community. Number one, uh, Bill over at Old Format. I'll leave the link in my comment section below. He's new at the vinyl community, but his videos are really great. The few that he has are, are really good, and I know uh, he's planning to do more, but I really want to start sending a lot of traffic his way because I think his channel has a lot of potential, and I think Bill is a really cool guy. The other channel that I'd like to bring to everybody's attention is Christian Osorio. He's actually from Santiago, Chile. He has a little over 100 subscribers, but he definitely deserves a lot more. What I love about his channel is he shows copies and versions of albums that you don't see in North America or you don't see really around the world. He's got some really interesting copies of not only cassettes, but also vinyl and CDs. So I'll leave his link below as well and definitely make sure that you check them both out. Now on to Ron's thread. Now Ron's thread is choose five albums, a great first album by a band, a great second album by a band, third, fourth, and fifth. And so what I decided to do is stay with the numeric concept. Um, the first one that I'm going to show is the Cars' first album. Love this album. Fell in love with it in the late 70s when my parents had this album. So many great tracks. It's definitely my favorite Cars album. You got Good Times Roll, My Best Friend's Girl, Just What I Needed, um, You're All I've Got Tonight, Bye Bye Love, Moving in Stereo. The second side of this album is just so, such perfection. It's kind of new wave, but it's also very much classic rock. I love the Moving in Stereo, Straight Into All Mixed Up. Just a great, great track. I love the artwork. Everything about this album, I think, is very cool. I think it's from 1978. But it is a classic, as probably most of you already know, and probably most of you have in your collection already. I'm going to go with the second album, Van Halen 2. Love this album a lot. Uh, it's got You're No Good on it, Somebody Get, get Me a Doctor, Bottoms Up, uh, Beautiful Girls is on here. So many great tracks. This definitely is a worthy successor to the first Van Halen album. Um, Again, love everything about this one. It's so cool. And this really, uh, you know, I think the first four Van Halen albums are just untouchable. They're so great. And this one is definitely one of my favorites. For my third one, I'm going to go with Led Zeppelin 3. This album doesn't get a whole lot of attention, but I think it's one of the better ones in Led Zeppelin's catalog. You've got the Immigrant Song on here, Since I've Been Loving You. Celebration Day is great on here. Side 2. Side, this is really, if there was such a thing, like a Sunday morning Led Zeppelin album, if you know what I mean. On the second side in particular, you got Gallows Pole, which is great. Tangerine is fantastic. That's the way is such a, a cool acoustic strummed uh, track. Uh, Broyar Stomp is a great, just kind of a hillbilly stomp kind of song. And then Hats Off to Roy Harper is a very interesting way to end this album. But I think the world of this album, it doesn't get enough attention. And I'm giving it some props right now. For the fourth one, I am picking Foreigner 4. Uh, Maybe not Foreigner's best album, but I think it's still pretty cool. This was uh, kind of their biggest, I, I don't know if it was their biggest 80s, but it's got a lot of great tracks on here. You got Jukebox Hero, which I remember hearing on the radio back in, what was this, 1981. Waiting for a Girl Like You was the, the ballad. And then um, Urgent with Thomas Dolby on keyboards is very cool. It's a solid album. I, I think it's better than their other 80s albums but i really enjoy this one a lot and people say uh this album artwork sucks but i don't know i think it's attention grabbing it's very i mean it's basic but it's kind of a cool idea for designating a fourth album and then the last one chicago five their fifth album uh is it Chicago's best? No, but it's got one of my favorite Chicago songs on here, Saturday in the Park. 
I think uh, Hit by Varese is just very cool. I love the rhythm of that track. It's so unusual. Uh, I What's the last? Is the, What the hell is else on this album? Um, I don't know. I feel like there's one more track that people would know on here, but I'm not crazy about the artwork on this one. Some of the other Chicago albums, I, I think, have pretty cool artwork, but um, does this have Feeling Stronger Every Day on it? Maybe it doesn't. What am I thinking? I'm thinking of, no, I'm, I, I'm thinking of uh, the next one, Chicago 6, but I don't know. What the hell? It's still not a bad album. It's still before they started to get into kind of the more mainstream, power ballad, Peter Cetera dominated uh, albums, but it's still very good. And if you're not a fan of Chicago, um, you know, probably you don't care anyway, but I, uh, I like this one. Not my favorite again, but I think it's still a pretty, pretty solid fifth album. And that's my list. So I know nothing uh, too spectacular, but just wanted to uh, put in my two cents on this thread. I saw Glenn Kellaway, uh, his uh, video for this thread was awesome. And I thought, well, mine's not going to be as good as his, but I'll throw in a couple of albums just to kind of keep the thread going and give my support to Ron Haggerty, who's always got some great thread ideas. So I hope you're all doing well and everybody take care. Again, check out Old Format and Christian Osorio if you get a chance. We want to uh, definitely start getting them some VC love out there. Take care.